As the 2011 season drew to a close, extra time caught up with the newly crowned top two slalom skateboarders in the UK. Luis Selby and Brazilian-born Bruno Oliveira are friends first and competitors second, but that hasn't stopped them battling it out for the number one spot all year, with Selby recently pipping his rival to top spot. For me, the season went great, actually. Uh, I started the season in May and then I crashed pretty much straight away and sustained a sprained ankle. That took me out of uh, racing internationally, really. So I stuck to the UK race at this year and despite the injury, I still uh, finished number one in the UK. The season for me was great. It's just changed positions with Louis. Louis first, me second, I first, Louis second. And the whole season was like, but obviously he came first most of them. <laughs> Bruno is my sort of closest rival at the moment. He's, uh, although he's not technically English, he's uh, honorary Brit. Yeah, they, they sort of adopted me here. <laughs> I wasn't born here, like, but they call me as the UK number two, even though I'm from Brazil. The pair are the first to admit that the sport doesn't have the highest profile in the UK. But with a new generation getting involved and its popularity gathering pace, the skaters see no reason why that shouldn't change very soon. Slalom skateboarding is really quite big over in the States and in Europe. In the UK, it's sort of been lagging, but in the last couple of years, the sport's growing uh, thanks to work by some of the uh, UK Slalom Skateboarding Association guys, setting up competitions, trying to get more people involved. So yeah, the scene is growing. Slalom Skateboarding is just not as big as it could be, because like, at the moment, we don't have many people doing it, like, but like, it's, it's getting bigger. The most important thing is for us to have more young riders getting involved. Recently, we've had sort of younger riders rising to the top of the ranks, and that's sparked a bit of interest from younger skaters involved in longboarding or downhill skateboarding or other aspects of skateboarding. So that's, that's a really positive step. For me, slalom skateboarding is just one of the greatest sports you can get involved with. It's, it's exciting and it's great to watch as well, and it's just it's incredibly enjoyable and it's also really easy to get into. The costs of getting into the sport are fairly low and it doesn't matter how fit you are or uh, what age you are, you know, you can, you can turn up to competitions and just get involved. So it's, really, it's a really great sport that brings people together. I first got into skateboarding about, I think I must have been about eight years old. So that's uh, 16 years now. And I, I really only started competing in skateboarding in, in the last five years. I've been competing internationally. And I've done okay, you know, not too badly. Um, however, this year I had an injury right at the beginning of the season. So it wasn't really worth it financially to uh, go and do international competitions. It, it started as a hobby and now just took over my life. Just cannot take skateboarding from my mind. That's basically what I live for now. Adrenaline is what keeps me skateboarding. And some people take drugs. I skate. And like I think that's my drug. I cannot live without skateboarding. When I'm injured or I cannot skate, I'm just thinking about skateboarding. I'm a skate holic, definitely. Yeah. As for next year, the young skaters are on a mission to take on the world. They'll be jetting off around the planet following their dream, and in the form they're in the season could be very promising indeed. For 2012, I'm planning to compete internationally. I'll be going to Europe, definitely. I'll try and do as many competitions as I can over there this season. And hopefully, I'll try and make it to America as well. I'd really like to improve my world ranking and hopefully win some international races. Me and Louis will be traveling abroad together, like racing like all the competitions that we can. I'm really looking forward to competing internationally. That's, that's why I came here for. And let's see what's gonna happen. It's really, really hard to make a living out of it. But that's my dream, I'll follow my dream. If it doesn't work, at least I try it. <laughs>